I'd like to call this meeting to order, please. Good afternoon. And welcome. Uh, Mrs. Westfall, could you call the roll, please? Carol Brown. Present. Maxine Drew. Present. Janie Humphreys. Present. Brenda Jones. Present. Wanda Brown McPage. Present. Valdinia Wynn. Present. Stacey Yeager. Present. Thank you. Need a motion, please, to approve the special agenda? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the special agenda. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Motion passed. Reports of the superintendent. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. We have a brief but hopefully very efficient meeting today. First item for uh, the board to attend to is the HR report. It's um, being presented to you, submitted by Walt Thompson, and recommended by me for your approval. Just as, as a note, we added, they had five additional hires that we added on today, so there is an addendum on there in case you hadn't looked at it today. Yeah. Are there any questions? Comments? I move we approve the HR report. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the human resources report and recommendations. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Motion passed. Item B. Your second item of the day, board, is um, approval of a resolution and um, notice of hearing submitted by Dr. Mather, Mather and Kristen Woodbury and recommended by myself. Dr. Mather. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. It's a good day. Oh, we yes. got the budget. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Your budget. Um, a couple things I just want to review with you this afternoon. Um, at the last board meeting on the 24th, I believe it was, you approved for us to publish the uh, notice of hearing, which is uh, the code 99. And I have that for you on your board docs. But it's the two-page document that essentially summarizes your budget. So I want to review that with you very briefly. So if we can make sure we get to that, that's not in any of the notebooks I've given you. I'll address those in a minute. But it should be on your board docs. Notice of hearing. Did everybody find it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what will be published in the paper. Uh, has to be published statutorily for 10 consecutive days. Uh, that will run through, I believe, the 11th or 12th. We'll come back on the 14th. Just as a reminder of the timeline, on the 14th, uh, board president will open a budget hearing. We'll have a budget hearing following that, then a motion will be made to accept the board's uh, budget. So that will be done on the 14th. But this document, two-page document, the notice of hearing will be published for the 10 consecutive days. Frankly, this just outlines for you all of the proposed expenditures for all of the funds that we've reviewed over the special board meetings that we've had. Uh, so you'll see expenditures for your general fund, the second line, code 8 being your local option budget or your supplemental general fund, so on and so forth. On the second page, I just want to highlight to you, uh, per our direction, about midway down where it says total expenditures, you see the total of all of the funds, and more importantly, is just the mill levy it stays the same. And that's what the board asked us to do, is to ensure that we did not increase the mill levy. So I did want to point that out, that you'll see that on your notice of hearing. Also, about on the second page, also I always like to point out the library mill levy. It also has remained um, flat and consistent. And you can see from the actuals from last year, 1718, to the proposed budget for 1819, that that mill levy remains flat as well. But their expenditures uh, for both the board and for the employee benefits, the library board and the employee benefits, are listed there for you. So this document will, in fact, be published. And then, again, uh, on the 14th, after you have your budget hearing, um, you will take a motion to hopefully approve your budget. Any questions about that? OK. Wanted to also let you know that we did update, as I said I would, um, this for board members' eyes. Uh, and this gives you the detail behind the budget uh, that you wanted because this really is your budget. So everything that we talked about and all the changes now have been updated in this format, 
and have been translated into the board's budget, which is the thicker book that you have. This is the budget that we will submit to KSDE and have certified by the county clerk no later than the 25th, uh, the 25th of August. So this, this is the, the document that we'll do that with. So I wanted you both all to have that for your uh, pleasure, for reading. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And then a couple other things I wanted to point out. In your board docs, there are two resolutions that are reflective on your budget. The first resolution you looked at last board meeting on the 24th. This is simply a way to memorialize the decisions the board made. So the resolution that has the 10 different items, all of those things are reflected in this budget. So we've captured everything, and also you will see them outlined in the smaller packet as we went through each line item. So we'll ask the board to sign that resolution again just to memorialize kind of all the work that you have done in putting together your budget. Dr. Mathers, question. Uh, sure. is, where is this submitted? This is, we will keep this. We don't submit okay. that as part of the budget at all. Like I said, this is just to memorialize your all's decisions. So Thank you. we'll keep it with a file we have here with our budget. The second resolution is also kept here. We don't submit it uh, to KSDE. But this is a second resolution that when we went up and met with Dale Dennis, uh, Deputy Commissioner, and reviewed the budget, the board's budget with them, he recommended that we actually move uh, $141,103. This is the old school retirement fund. Frankly, has been sitting there idle for a number of years. Reason is we continue to get delinquent taxes in that paid on the old, now non-existent school retirement fund. He asked us for years to just let it set. Now he says it's not going to be used for any intended purpose, and now you can transfer that. So we are just doing the resolution to memorialize the fact that we're transferring the $141,103 into the special education fund, uh, and that was his recommendation. He asked us where we would want it. We would want it there because we're subsidizing this, that fund so much anyway. Not a lot of money, but at least it moves it out of that line. You will see on your code 99, on, um, it says code 44 about halfway, maybe three quarters of the way down on the first page, it says school retirement. You'll see that $141,000 listed there. And then in the, in the proposed budget for 1819, it's not there because it's now been moved to the special education fund. Question. Huh? So that in the future, this has to, this action has to be taken each time, perhaps, if there's delinquent taxes paid into this fund? Yeah, typically they've asked us to hold them in that fund for several, year, several years just to try to capture all the funds. Frankly, I think we are anticipating that we may still get some in. Correct. Um, but he had just at this juncture said it's time to move it out. So. But we want to look at that. We're tracking that on a regular basis. That fund has been obsolete for five years, Kristen, maybe more. I don't know, seven years. It's been a while. It's just been sitting there. But yes, in the future, if there's something like that, I would recommend that you memorialize that movement always with a resolution, too. Okay. Just it really for your record, so you know. Thank you. And then the final document kind of goes, it will be published. It will not be published with the Code 99, but it will be published the week after is a property tax rate review. This is required statutorily. The statute is noted on this property tax review sheet. It's also in your board docs. All this is is that any time that you levy taxes and there's an increase above a 2% threshold, they ask you to publish that change. The reason we're anticipating an increase in that, even though our mill levy is flat, is the assessed valuation went up. Uh, slightly. So that's a positive thing for our community, but that could potentially increase that revenue. We don't know until all the collections come in. But we're just required to publish that and notify folks, so that's all that document is. We will ask you to vote on all of those these resolutions in this particular document. The reason we didn't publish this with the Code 99, two reasons. One, don't have to. And two, we have to get the Code 99 in, and it's ready now to be published for Thursday per your approval at the last board meeting. Just didn't have this ready for it at that time. So we'll follow that up the next week. So those are the, the three documents that I have. I would ask um, Dr. Wynn that you um, accept a motion to accept the resolutions and also the tax review. You've already approved for the publication of the notice, so we don't need to redo that. Mr. Gohan. I think technically you have to have separate motions for each resolution. That 
we'll Sorry do about that. that. Thank, you. Thank you, Deb. So I'd like to entertain a motion for the um, Resolution Retirement Fund Code 44. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion passed. I'd like to entertain a motion for the Resolution 2018-19 Budget Development. So moved. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion passed. Thank you, Dr. Mathers. And also the property tax rate. Do we get oh, that? That's a okay. Um, need a motion, please, to approve the 2018-19 property tax rate document. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion passed. Anything Thank you, else? Dr. Wynn. Thank you, board members. We'll look forward to the 14th when we can finalize the budget approval. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? I think that's it. I just want to um, congratulate Dr. Mather and your team. I know that budget work has been quite the task. So congratulations to you bringing uh, the system this far. And congratulate the board on all of your work around the board. It has been an in-depth process. So congratulations to you all for moving the system forward with this budget, budget process. I know the 25th, we should all celebrate. Right? We should celebrate. <laughs> but again, congratulations and thank you for all that hard work, you all. I think um, we are at the place in the agenda where we want to maybe identify some upcoming events so that Correct. we don't um, miss, miss, any, any. miss anything. Yeah. So. Uh, and I wanted to say thank you to the human resource staff for all the hard work you're doing. I've been getting good reviews back of the communication and the job fairs and things of that nature, so thank you. Just wanted to clarify on the uh, back to school fair. Um, will there be a particular place that people can inquire about? Do we know as to where right now, or is there any direction we can give people who will be there? Um, on the fourth, do we just direct them on over here, or how do how do you prefer that it works? We will check with Cynthia, uh, folks, and then we'll get that information to the board. But we will have uh, a job fair here uh, from nine to twelve, and then we should have someone at the uh, community rally as well. Okay. Thank you for that. I think as far as upcoming events, that's one. I think that definitely needs to be noted, the back to school fair coming up this Saturday and the job fair on that Saturday. I would remind the board it's listed on your board calendar, but tomorrow we have all new um, teachers um, reporting and they will be there bright eyed and ready to take on their educational careers and so the board um, I think you've been invited to that and you've been given information about where to be in the times on that but those are two that I would highlight and Dr. Wynn I see you may be right. pointing to some others that you want to be sure that are highlighted. Could you clarify again uh, where we should where will the program be? The, the program itself will be in the auditorium of okay. Schlegel mm -hmm. and so they will have a meet and greet um, from seven to eight, um, that student, that the students, that our young <laughs> our teachers, new hires. our new hires will be there, um, and they will get a chance to mingle. But the actual program will be in the auditorium, starting at but the meet and greet will be in the cafeteria, in the cafeteria maybe. Cafeteria, okay, yes, in the cafeteria. All right. And there'll be parking for the, all the board members at the north door. I'm probably pointing the wrong way. Mm -hmm. The north, mm -hmm. and you can just go in that door. There's the elevator right there, and go. And then that convocation on Wednesday the 8th. Convocation Wednesday the 8th. Questions, comments? We were not, Janie and I are attending the forum at the... Uh, you want to speak? I don't, I'm not sure if they heard you. Uh, Janie and I will not be able to attend the new, new uh, employees. We will be attending uh, at the campus, out to the Edwardsville campus on the LGBT of the board. Okay. Well, thank you, but we know that you're there in spirit. All right. Thank you, everyone, again, and um, unless you have something else. Smooth sailing. All I, right. I won't, I won't slow it down at all. <laughs> Entertain a motion to adjourn, please. Move. Second. And motion, moved and second to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay.
motion fast. 